Hi everyone, welcome to MATLAB programming tutorial. I am going to use MATLAB 2019A for this tutorial. This version of MATLAB is available as a crack version. You can download and install it in your system. When you use MATLAB, initially you could see this page. There are different items here, namely current folder where exactly you are now in and command window this is the place where you can type your command lines workspace where the variable used in the command window or the program can be stored here you can also have more items go to layout select command history so the command history provides information about different files used or different commands used in your command window so this is actually a menu or toolbar to be used in our matlab so this is likely to be changed whenever we are using different matlab application you can change this layout by selecting layout menu as we have seen here you can simply close this command history you can also close this workspace if not required but i want both workspace as well as command history you can drag this position so that you can change width or size of the items similarly on this side now let us discuss the basic requirement for MATLAB programming you can also change the current folder or current directory use here uh, if I want to save my current files in this D I can use it here select folder you can select any folder here similarly if you want to go for E you can go there select any folder and you can save it we can also use MATLAB as a calculator use command window 1 plus 2 so you may get answer whatever the operation we are performing here that answer or the solution or even I can say the result will be stored in the workspace and also this command window history is stored in command history whatever the command lines we provided say for example 1 multiplied with 2 is 2 so have a look at this command history 1 multiplied with 2 okay. and 1 multiplied with 2 is updated here in workspace that is 2 now we can also use some variable name we may get the result now x has the value of 5 that result will be stored in workspace and also this command line is stored in command history overwriting a variable is also allowed in MATLAB see this command x equal to x plus 5 already x value is 5 now I am adding 5 with that the result is 10 updated x value is available here in case if I do some mistake y equal to 5x
it will throw an error message okay. so actually y is equal to 5 times of x so we have to provide within 5 and x a multiplication symbol it will throw an error when we commit a mistake matlab has same precedence as other computer languages it will give preference to the variable which is in parenthesis and second preference goes to exponential operation third preference multiplication and division and fourth preference addition subtraction let us use some arithmetic operation let us check the solution of this equation so minus 17 it is performing 4 and 5 4 and 5 is 20 that is minus 20 then 1 plus 2 3 3 minus 20 is minus 17 if i use a parenthesis now i am using 2 minus 4 inside parenthesis first preference goes to parenthesis let me check it out so it is performing 2 minus 4 so minus 2 minus 2 is multiplied with 5 so minus 10 minus 10 plus 1 is minus 9 hence matlab uses same precedence as like other computer languages how to use multiple statements in a line if you are going for a multiple statements in a line either you must use semicolon or comma for example x equal to 4 plus 5 semicolon y is equal to 4 multiplied with 5 now x value is 9 that is 4 plus 5 and y value is 20 4 multiplied with 5 so those values are stored here x 9 and y value 20 if you want to showcase this values in command window you can do it by display x since i provided semicolon in both x and y calculation it is not available on a command window however you can display x value and y value using this function disp of whatever the value you want if you put x it is 9 if you put y it is 20 in case if i use floating point numbers say for example x equal to 4.5 plus 5.8 then the result is 10.3 but by default matlab gives four digits after decimal points but you can control the number of digits to be printed after decimal point say for example format long now look at the difference x value is 10.300 now the same x value is in a long format 15 digits after decimal points similarly there are a number of formats available in order to access that type help format you can get as many as format used in matlab a default which we discussed short format which is four decimal points okay, but total of five digits only similarly long format we have discussed so 15 digits 
for double and seven digits for single. Okay. We will also discuss short E, long E, short G, long G, short ENG, long ENG. Let's go for format. Short E. For a format short E, x value is 1.0300 e to the power 1. Similarly, let's check it out. Format long E print x value. So 15 digits. 15 digits e to the power 1. The same value displayed in this format. Now let's go for format short G and also format long G. In both short g and long g, best of fixed value is given. In order to have better clarity, let's take x as 1500.12345678998769876. So x as this value. Let me go for format. short g let me print x value now now have a look at this best fixed value that is only 5 digits only 5 digit that includes decimal points format long g So have a look at this only 15 digits including decimal points. We may have format long E N G so exponential of three digits and 15 digits overall. format short eng only 5 digits including decimal points exponential of 3 digits in this way you can manipulate display format on matlab suppose if you want to clear command window you can use CLC, CLC here. This is one of the way of clearing command window. See command window is clear. Or else, you can go to this clear command window. Click this command window will be cleared. But already I have cleared that. Even you can clear your command history by selecting this command history is clear and so as workspace clear workspace you can clear all variables everything is clear even you can clear your workspace by using this command clear all but as of now, I don't have any variable or value stored in workspace and command window. So in case if I'm having, I can use clear all. So it will clear your workspace. CLC will clear your command window. And if you want to quit your MATLAB, you can go for QUIT 
quit.